everybody. Welcome. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I'm popping on to just uh, walk you through um, some ways to make down dog accessible. Um, down dog, you're pretty much any yoga class you're ever going to go into, you're going to have a down dog. And um, so I think it's really important that you know that um, there's just this very very, uh, there are different ways of doing it. And I, we all are so different. I named this video good dog and really good dog is really any dog that you're doing because every dog is going to look a little different, but there are some things in down dog that you do need to think about and, and work towards. Um, but by using blocks or a blanket, um, things like that, or just slight bend in the knees, you can make down dog a little bit more accessible. So we're going to go through several different ways. Um, but let's just start off with down dog. Um, and I'm just going to walk you through full version, no equipment and what that looks like. And then we'll use blocks. I'll show you with a blanket. I'll show you just with bent knees. And then um, I know often in classes, you're going to be cued to go from a, um, um, let's do, uh, you're going to be cued to go from, you're going to like for a three legged dog. So we can even um, go through that as well. So let's uh, get to our mats, roll them out. So full version, starting off with, I have done an Instagram reel on this before, but um, I decided to make a video too because I know not everyone looks at those things but just starting in tabletop fingers are spread hands are grounded you've got your elbow creases so they should be facing the front so spiraled um so you've got this opening going on this external rotation tucking your toes and as you're exhaling you're gonna press back um and i am very warmed up as i'm doing this so my heels are definitely going down to the ground the goal in down dog is not to get your heels to touch. Um, it's just to get a little closer to the ground. If they touch, that's awesome. But just because yours doesn't touch, it's okay. But you shift, your weight should be shifted back. So it's really in your body and your, and your legs, that back body, not so much through the arms, but arms are nice and straight. And your back should be fairly straight too. So every exhale, you're pressing your chest towards your thighs. And just continuing to breathe. All right, but let's say it bothers your wrist to do this. So often when that happens, simply using yoga blocks can release that tension out of wrist. Um, and so it'd be the same thing, tucking your toes as you exhale, pressing back. I'm just gazing into your belly button. You can gaze towards your feet or even to the back wall, back edge of your mat, and lowering down. Now, one of my favorite things is um, getting that yoga blanket out. And this is a really good one for those people that just feel like their heels need to come down and, and just ground. They, they just like that grounding sensation, and I don't blame them. So if that's you, but your heels are nowhere near the ground, Take a blanket. This is a yoga blanket, so it doesn't really have to be a yoga blanket at all. Just any blanket rolled. And then you just kind of have to figure out where everything needs to be. So I've got my balls of my feet up against the blanket. I might need to adjust once I'm in down dog. I'm going to start here. Exhale and press it back. And so now I've got my heels. I feel grounded because my heels are on the blanket. All right. And release. So if you are super tight in your hamstrings and you're doing down dog, you might see a very, I don't even know if I can do it, but a very rounded back. I see this often. So if you would bend your knees more, okay, that's going to help and that should get your back straight. So knees are very bent. Of course, heels are going to come down to the earth this way at all because, um, again, you're probably pretty tight in your back body. So but that definitely gets your back straight, which is what we want. So um, you could also, if, um, so let's do the, the, the three-legged dog. I'm getting ahead of myself. So pressing back down dog. 
Whatever. I'd be three-legged, and I've been cued to do this, and I like it, and I cue others. But I'm going to take my left foot more to center, and that right leg, my right leg's going to come up towards the sky. And the same thing applies. You can bend your knee as much as you need, heel down, right leg up. Okay, and then, you know, this might be where your yoga blocks, maybe you don't need them for the wrist thing, but it might help. Because typically in a class, when that leg goes up in the air, you're going to be cued to bring it through and to rise, right, into a warrior or a um, um, lunge or something. So the blocks are going to give you a lot of space to do that, which might otherwise be really hard for you. So you're going to come forward and bring that foot through. Using the blocks, again, you might find that space to be able to do that. If you don't, you can simply transition by coming into tabletop and I still use that block, giving yourself space and put your leg through, then you can rise up to lunge or whatever you are cued to do. All right. I hope this helps this quick little down dog tutorial. And, and again, any dog that you can do is the good dog. Just keeping those few little things in mind hands grounded, fingers spread, straight back, nice long arms back, tailbone high to the sky, and um, however you need to do that. Um, and again, blocks, the blanket, bent knees, they are all there for you. They all help. And just because your neighbor looks like one thing does not mean you have to look like that either. So um, just enjoy it. It's actually a very relaxing pose. Once you figure out what works for you, you relax into it and um, get all the good stretching benefits and strengthening out of it. So let me know on the, in the comments below if this has helped you. And again, anything else that you need, I love to do these little short, quick tutorial videos. Um, I'm here to support you in your yoga journey so you can enjoy yoga as much as I have over the years and continue to do so. All right, have a great day, and I'll see you back here soon. Bye.